Hello, my fly babies, my patrons, my lions. Today is Monday. Happy Monday. Happy first Monday of June. And today we have a three layer cake. Our routines, morning routine, paper routine, laundry routine, after dinner routine, before bed routine. Those five routines are integral to this system. So we're going to do our routines. Our second thing is our basic weekly plan. Weekly home blessing hour is today. You may have opted to skip last week because it was Memorial Day and that's something I gave you as a choice. Today, there's no opting out. We're going to do it and we're going to do it now. <laughs> and I'm being firm, but kind. So we're going to do it, me included. We're going to clean our house today. We're going to do the six things that we do. to. It's not clean, it's blessing the house. We're going to strip our bed and wash our sheets. We're going to empty the garbage. We're going to clean the spots off the glass. We're going to dust. We're going to vacuum and or dust mop. And we're going to mop the floors in the kitchen and the bathrooms. That's going to take an hour, 10 minutes maximum for each thing. When you're done, you will be glowing, as we say in the South. And uh, you'll need to rest a little bit and drink some water. But it's done. And it always makes me feel awesome. Like the maid's been here. I don't know why. It makes me, it feels like a housekeeper has been in my house. I know it's not deep cleaned, but it doesn't matter. It just feels that way. It looks presentable. Okay, so uh, that's what we're doing today. Weekly Home Blessing Hour, and the zone we're in is zone two, the kitchen. So we're going to do zone two. That means you're going to either work for five to ten minutes doing a deep clean thing in your kitchen, or... If it's cluttered, you're going to spend 15 minutes decluttering by throwing away, putting away, and giving away in three separate containers. And when the time is up, completing the process by actually throwing away the trash or shredding, taking the giveaway to the back of the car. So you, when on Thursday, when you do your errand day, you can give that away. And then putting away everything else. Find a place for it. If there's no place for it, make a place. Take something that doesn't deserve its place out and give it away. That's it for today. Super easy. So let's see how we're going to do it when we're working. Well, when you're working, you're going to do your morning routine. The kids go to, You're going to put your kids through their routines and you're going to go to work. When you get to work, you're going to focus on work and be there, knowing everything okay is, is okay at home, right? You're going to be there following your work control journal. On your lunch hour and your break, you're going to think about the weekly home blessing hour and who's getting what to do. Anyone nine years old or older can do weekly home blessing hour items. So choose now the bed. If you work, I like you to take care of your bed on Saturdays. Wash your sheets and put them back on your bed. But let's see if we can give somebody something to do today. Maybe dust. How about that today? If you don't give it away or there's no one to give it away to when you come home after you've started supper, when you've got the supper holding, you've got your laundry going, you've gone through your inch of paper, then you're going to work in that, in that, that on that dusting 10 minutes or less and then work in that kitchen for 15 minutes if you have to declutter. Hopefully your decluttering is done and you can deep clean, which is only 5 to 10 minutes. All right. If you are at home, Fly Baby, you're going to do the same thing, only in a different order. So you're going to get up in the morning, do the morning routines, the kids through their routines. If it's summertime and your teens are sleeping, when they get up, they still have a routine and you're still required to inspect what you expect. And all of us do three cut clutter checks a day. Okay, um, next is you're going to do your basic weekly home blessing hour. That happens now. Now if you've got kids at home from school, all the better. You can split it up. If there's just three of you together, you can get it done in 20 minutes. If it's two of you, you can get it done in, in um, 30 minutes. Ooh, the math. <laughs> if it's just you, it's going to take an hour and that's okay. You can get it done in an hour. Your house is going to look great all week long. All right, then the third thing you're going to do is work in that zone for uh, 15 minutes max for decluttering and 5 to 10 minutes max for deep cleaning one thing or several small things. Then when that's done, oh, I forgot to tell you, before you do those things, before you do your weekly home blessing hour, you have to put your laundry in. <laughs> put your laundry in, get it started while it's going, go through an inch of paper. This is going to take you five minutes or less total for both things. And then your hour of weekly home blessing hour and then your 15 minutes max in the kitchen. So what are we spending? Less than two hours and our whole house is going to be great and you have the rest of the day to do what you want. Now you can't always do exactly what you want if you have children, but you can do no house cleaning and you can make sure that it's staying clutter free and you can make sure that you're inspecting what you expect because you have time. You've been taken care of, the house has been taken care of. Now you have time. 
There's no rushing here. This is a slow, easy way of living. It's a peaceful, calm way. All right, if you're working and you're coming home from work, then you're gonna start your laundry and go through an inch of paper, make supper, do the things we talked about before, and then after that, we're gonna do our after dinner routine. We all come together, clean the kitchen together. After that, don't run the dishwasher, don't do it yet. Everybody does the before dinner routines, and then, I mean, the, the after dinner routines and the before bed routines is what I meant to say, and then go run your dishwasher before you go to bed. Don't forget to check your daily planner, and don't forget to, um, Enjoy your day and be beautiful. Hmm. Bye.